the great philosophers of our age, Bela Hadid, John Oliver, and Trevor Noah, are slamming Israel for killing civilians. As a dad of four children who spent the last week in a shelter, and as Israel's former defense minister, I'd like to explain why innocent people are sometimes caught in the crossfire in our just war against terrorism. Ever hear of the Shifa Hospital? It's the largest medical complex in Gaza. It's also where Hamas, his headquarter, is located while they're conducting terror actions against Israel. Ever hear of Ayobia Boys School in Gaza? It's a good school. It's also where the United Nations reported that Hamas is hiding its weaponry. Have you heard of the Al Jala building? It housed several media offices. But it's also where Hamas embedded its military intelligence. So Bella, John, and Noah, help me out here. Let me ask you, if a terror organization like Hamas called to murder your families and launched thousands of missiles at your children while they're hiding inside hospitals, schools, and media offices, what would you do? It seems like we've got two options. The first is to do nothing and die, and the second is to respond. I don't know about you all, but we're gonna go with number two. But there is one thing you can do to help end this war. Use your platforms to demand that Hamas stop hiding behind innocent civilians. Maybe you should ask Hamas operator, Fatih Hamad, to stop bragging that Palestinian women and children make the best human shields. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. This is a tragedy. Israelis are just like you. We want nothing more than to live, to live in peace with all our neighbors. But what we don't do is commit suicide so you can make snarky comedy bits. I appreciate your understanding on this.